Pantheon might be top. So Pantheon is one of my biggest counters along with Teemo. Alright, he's super strong early game. Um, and it's going to be pretty, it's going to be a crazy matchup. Like I might die early, you know, or I might kill him early. But hopefully, I just ward it there just because. But, you know, in general, you don't want to do that that early. But Alright, so this is going to be an all out war between me and Pantheon. He might even be in this in one of these bushes <laughs> cuz yep what I tell you so I'm gonna heal up while I'm fighting him alright yep 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 alright see that war did you see that war now I'm gonna take off he doesn't have anything so he oh yeah he does have a spear <laughs> I'm gonna take off but did you see that like even in that 1v1 like I could have used my max W and instead of healing, so maybe next time if I ever go against the Pantheon again, I'll just, instead of trying to heal off of it, I'll just like use my attack damage W. But, um, yeah, as you can see, Pantheon is just very, he's one of the best um, 1v1 laners along with Trundle early game. Um, just because of the things he can do, like his passive, he gets that little circle around him, it's a little shield, and um, he, he can block attacks and whatnot. Victory so, is yeah, so there you have it. And, um, Trundle, like his Q, for example, Trundle, he can bite you and reduce your damage that you put off, as well as, like, slow, um, not slow, but, like, yeah, so it's just, like, they're just good one, one, one laners. But Trundle and Pantheon fall off. That's the sad thing about them. Like, late game, if we get there, they're not going to be able to do anything to each other. like, Look at that, he just, he just, I don't know, he's, he knows it, look, he's, he's literally just like trying to hurt me, just because he knows that. I don't want to get, yeah, I knew it. I don't have my, what the heck, I was, that whole time I was trying to Q, but I just realized I have my E only. I was like, why the heck isn't my Q not working, that was interesting. So, um, yeah, we got that kill, alright? Yes, yeah, so that was very awkward. I'm sorry if you had to watch that awkwardness, but, um, let's see. Pantheon gives off a lot of damage early, so I'll try not to die. Look at, this jungler is like, taking all his farm, which is good for me, because that means I don't have to go back. You see what I'm saying? Now I can just get some more farm. And XP. She might be in that bush, but nah, she's not. She would have fought me already. I had my Q for the escape, though, so... You have to anticipate the things they're gonna do before they do them. That's why I started my E, because I was trying to... Like, he has a Q, he can just keep on, like, hitting me with it. I, and he doesn't have any type of healing abilities like I do. So I was just gonna keep on harassing him with my E. Um, so now, he um, Pantheon also has... Um, I think the biggest movement speed in the game, like, early. So, he has the fastest movement speed out of every champion if you play him. Like, just like, without any items and stuff, you know? Actually, in there. Alright. So yeah, now I'm gonna go back to mid lane. Alright. Yeah, but like I said, Pantheon, I've gone like 12-2 with Pantheon. And, um... I'm pretty sure it was more kills, but I'm just gonna round this to that. And like he just doesn't he doesn't give you the type of gameplay that you need for late game. He doesn't have any type of like anything really. I can actually fight him right now, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's try it. Damn it. I'm gonna fight it. He has um freaking that little shield thing does good. Oh uh, damn it! All right, so and those minions, there was a lot of minions. So I'm gonna gonna leave because he's gonna freeze lane. I'm gonna go get this thing, this scuttle, for the extra money. And of course, I don't want to just sit under tower with little life. Yeah, so there's nothing there. So yeah, he actually is gonna dive me and ignite me, and that's gonna happen. So I got to prepare for that. So let's let's. I don't want to go back quite yet, so let's just get the XP. Maybe we can level up. Oh. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Oh, crap. Yep, you did it. 
Yeah, that's crazy. I gotta take off. <laughs> I gotta take off. I'm gonna die. <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm out. So yeah, like as I, as you can tell, like look at this. This pantheon is just like my farm, his farm. He just early game is hard to play. Like watch, I'm gonna after I play this game and and win because that's the goal, right? Uh, let's get some armor. All right, after I play this game, I'm gonna play a pantheon game. I want to show you guys the early game potential of Pantheon. Look at that, level 6, but it's pretty it's pretty awesome. At the end of the day, the more competition you get, the more fun this game becomes, in my opinion. Like, just killing them 12 times just gets kind of boring in my... Like, you don't really earn anything. So, I'm obviously down, but if I start winning lane, you're going to see that, um, that I earned it. You know what I mean? The comeback. All right, let's see. Get some of that farm. Get some of that delicious farm. All right, and his he doesn't take TP, which is kind of cool on Pantheon because he has his ultimate, which is what people tend to do. Like, if you see a Pantheon, they're not gonna take TP. They're just gonna take Ignite and Flash because Ignite is early game um, greatness. When I get level 6, it's going to be better. Because look it, he has his ultimate, right? But he's going to be down basically um, like an ability. Because he's not going to ult in the middle of the fight. So it's going to be, he basically has his 3 abilities. And I have my 4, like with my ultimate. So he just, that's what I'm saying. Like after, he pre-6, he's great. But after level 6, he just kind of, unless you roam a lot, which is what I did with my other Pantheon. I'm pretty sure Pantheon's around here. So. Oh, dang it. This might be warded. Yeah, it's warded. Look it. Yep, it's warded. I'm not level 6 yet, so I can't really... I can't fight him yet. Look at He has a lot of lethality, too. That's one thing. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna buy something. I'm gonna buy something. Uh, let's see what I wanna buy. I think I should buy this. I'm gonna buy Cleaver. So I'm not, because look it, when you buy against somebody who does a lot of damage early. Nice, nice. Alright, so yeah, what I tend to do a lot of times is, because Aatrox doesn't really scale um, tank, he just kind of scales attack damage, I tend to sometimes build... Um, like more health and stuff like that early game and then I build damage later and then if I need more health and stuff like that like I'll build the randuins or if they have crit it just depends what I have to do but I try to build um, a little bit of health in the beginning er, the reason my, my um, I have two long swords though is because I was actually gonna try to trade with Pantheon like try to win him early game but he obviously did, did um, too much damage and at that time, so... Oh wow. I could fight her, but Pantheon's right here somewhere. Yeah, Pantheon's coming. He's walking up, so yeah. Oh, jeez. Do you see this? Let me flash and kill him. Alright, so I could probably get her too. Yeah, so look at that. So I just got a double. But I am um, freaking um, try to outplay it. But see what I'm saying? Like, Pantheon just can't scale the same way. I don't know if he had mana or not. I wasn't really paying attention. But he just can't scale the same way. That's all I'm trying to say. But he's really good early. Like, if you can just kill a lot of times and get fed, which is great. But he's going to start falling off. And I feel bad for this guy. But he picked Pantheon. All right. Wrong day to be playing against me, right? <laughs> All right, so let's um. I bet. Let's see. Wrong day to be playing against me as a pantheon. Let me finish that sentence for you. So now that I have a lot of money, I can get some. Let's take off. Let's not get cocky right now, cause this guy still can kill me. <laughs> Holy crap! This guy wants me. What the? What are you doing? <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> Yep, that's Pantheon Tilt right there, in case you look at that. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'll, I'll stop running under my tower. <laughs> so let's get, um, like I said, let's get that. And let's get some attack speed. I'm still gonna build um, Black Cleaver, but uh, right now I'm just gonna build around it for, for the time being. Because I'm still gonna try to fight Pantheon after this. So dang, look at the score is 1 to 11 right now. Jeez, so we're obviously winning. I wasn't even paying attention to that. But, um... Pantheon's doing his best. Like, he's doing what Pantheons need to do in order to stay in the game. He's, um, he's, uh, what is it? Roaming. It's important. If you're a Pantheon player, you gotta be roaming. But, first try to get your first blood or first kill on the on the top laner. Uh, put a lot of pressure early game because you do more damage and stuff like that. And then, um... And then roam after like maybe one or two kills. And just be smart about it because if you can kind of, and try not to take all the kills. Like for example, when you roam, don't just take the kills. Try to give your teammates the kills because those are the, your teammates are the ones that scale like better. You know, like most, like Galio for example, it's, you just have to give your teammates the kills because they're going to be the ones that are going to be carrying. You're just kind of be the side, you're going to be the side chick basically. All right. Pantheon, that's just how, that's just the role of Pantheon. You win early, get your team fed, if you want to win, you know? Maybe we can make this a 20 minute game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got that turret. Alright, let's go and, um, I don't know what she's doing. Look at that, he blocks the first hit all the time, so, like with his shield up, you know, so. I can actually dive that. I'm not getting cocky, I just know my, my champ abilities. Well, I mean, if that's considered cocky. But I had Ignite still too, so, let's, we can still probably get her. But yeah, I'm going to take off. Alright, so let's see. Now I'm going to get that. I'm going to sell, um, let's see, attack speed or damage. Let's, let's sell the damage because Black Cleaver gives me damage. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need more damage. I need some attack speed. So my next item I'm going to be building is um, attack speed, which is Bork. So I'm going to get a Bork. Lee Sin is playing with fire right now. Good read, good read. They, they're not gonna chase him that. Oh my, they're still chasing him. <laughs> I got you, dude. <laughs> OB, <laughs> get carry trash. Aatrox, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show him who's what's up. But this guy's getting so mad. What the heck? <laughs> Laugh. Yeah, you're funny. You even. Ig I'm pretty sure he ignited me too. Get mad more, man. <laughs> Alright, so Pantheon. The tilt is real, guys. The tilt is real. So let's try to get um, some more towers. Ooh, this movement speed is going to be great because we can go from base to wherever we need to go quickly. Ooh. Wowzers. Bards do a lot of a damage, hella damage, guys. Damn. Actually, she's like, I'm, get me out, get me out. <laughs> she might not live. Look at this. Oh. 
wrecked. Alright. What the? Well, I'm not paying attention or what? Let me go back now. They want my gold right now, man. They want my gold. Give me some shut down gold. Alright, now let's get that uh, attack speed, get some damage. Keep on getting.